My name is Andy Meyer here at Two Deep Brewing. I'm the founder and director of Brewing Shenanigans. So I got into brewing uh, living up in Chicago at the time. Uh, that's where I was introduced to craft beer back in late 2004, early 2005. Uh, I was kind of just on the forefront of craft beer kind of taking off and uh, fell in love with the process of, of taking grain and you take it through a process and this is what you get out of it. And um, so jumped into home brewing head first uh, after I had discovered this whole world of, of craft beer, I can make it at home. So that kind of just snowballed from there and uh, this passion just kept growing and growing. I think what kind of separates us from a lot of other breweries um, is that we, we really take this malt approach into our recipe formulation. Um, whether it's our cream ale all the way down to the uh, hoppy beers that we do, we just love putting a significant malt backbone to it. Uh, and that kind of gives us a, a little bit of a different entrance in terms of the, the styles that we do. So uh, some challenges that we, we encounter with water, uh, unfortunately here in Indianapolis, uh, our water profile is not the most conducive to brewing. Uh, so we have to implement systems uh, in order to get the water profile to uh, something that's gonna be good for the beer. And the adage is if the water tastes good, the beer should taste good. Uh, so um, in using an RO system, uh, filtration system, uh, we can get the water profile to where we need it to be and based on whatever style of beer we're making, we can build it up from there uh, to get it to mimic um, the water profile uh, that, that matches that style. Uh, everything that comes into the building goes through a water softening process um, as well as a charcoal filtering. Um, so we, whether we're using water for the kitchen or water for the brewery, uh, we try to soften it and, and get it charcoal filtered uh, as much as possible. The next step though from a brewing standpoint is we then take our water through an RO system uh, in order to break it down to its most basic elements so that we can then build it back up to the profile that we need for the beer that we're making. We have a, uh, a blending station where we actually take our RO water, blend it back with charcoal filtered water uh, to create the water profiles that we need for the different beers that we're making. Um, now sometimes, depending on which beer we're making, we'll just do a simple blend to get to a TDS that we need, uh, TDS being total dissolved solids, um, which gives us a general rule of thumb of how the water is going to taste. Uh, sometimes we'll be looking for a spring-like water profile uh, for certain beers that we're doing. Uh, other beers will we'll create a blend, uh, but yet we'll still add different compounds to get it up to whatever water profile is best suited for that beer we're making. So in, in putting a system together when we were opening the brewery, um, U.S. Water was, was a huge help in, in kind of forecasting, hey, you're going to need to be at a, at a bigger size eventually down the road. And um, I was not... Uh, so educated on, on getting to that bigger system out of the gate, uh, but thankfully to uh, Mark and the guys at US Water, uh, we were able to put in a bigger system which uh, allowed us to grow into it um, as our brewing schedule picked up more and more over time. We've been partners with US Water for about five years now is when we implemented the system um, and we've been going strong ever since. Um, we do yearly maintenance on it, uh, changing out filters, making sure everything is, is, is up to where it needs to be. In terms of, of, of working with other breweries throughout and kind of giving recommendations to them, uh, it's one of those things where we hope that they, they follow a similar path in order to make good beer. Um, we've, we've definitely shown some other people out there, hey, these are the different pieces of equipment we use and you know, strongly suggest uh, jumping on board and doing something similar.